back to Mars, and I'm getting a little irritated with people who live in a technological country, and you're taking this flat earth stuff seriously, and they freak out when they see so-called blob moon. All that is, these are two of my big irritations with people. First of all, all blood and moon means is the Earth has passed between the sun and the moon, and it's gone into eclipse. It doesn't mean the world's coming to an end. The world's got a lot of problems right now, but it's still chugging along. We haven't blown ourselves up, so... Let's move along from that. It's meaningless. It's just an eclipse. The Earth gets in front of the sun. It's between the sun and the moon, and the moon goes dark, and it might get a little light on the Earth shine, and that's about it. It's meaningless. It is meaningless. So, people, please. I heard a bunch of Mormons were uh, fussing over this. People, please. This this is a known astronomical event. My irritation, my problem with NASA is that they ignore obvious evidence of plants, artifacts, and structures in the Mars photos. That's not superstition. Freaking out over a blood moon is because that's a known astronomical event. And then, you have the Flat Earth people, you're seeing, here's a whole list of them, I just typed in Flat Earth, uh, just see what come up. This is utterly absurd. In this day and age, people please. Most of the people who are making these videos are probably, uh, live in the United States. And we're one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world. There's no reason for this. These airliners, you know, people fly by the millions every day. They see the curvature of the Earth. This is absurd. I don't know where... I'm hoping you people aren't serious about this stuff. I'm not going to watch these videos... They're just utterly, they're just utter trash as far as I'm concerned. People, please. This is just out and out garbage, alright? Blood moons and flat earth. Blood moon is meaningless. Flat earth is meaningless. It's bullshit. It's incredible bullshit. People, please, get a life. We live in one of the greatest technological civilizations I'm that has ever existed. I uh, have my arguments with NASA, certainly. I think they're not telling us the truth. Your government is not telling us the truth about many of these things that are flying around in our atmosphere. The flat earth, blood moons, people please, we don't need to devolve into superstition. Get a life. That's all I gotta say. Let's uh, take a look at some of the names that are going with us. Might be interested in listening to that nutcase uh, airline pilot. Mark Sargent. Wakey Wakey. Casey Josh. Eric Dubay. Mr. Thrive and Survive. A prepper. A Planet Truth. 
Jaronism, Eric Dubé, and it just goes on. People, please, let's not devolve into uh, superstition and goddamn nonsense like this. That's all I got to say. Don't watch these videos. Look at how many views these idiots are getting. Nah, I'm not watching an airline pilot. He's probably a nutcase from the local mental hospital. 10,253 views for the first one. 125,644. 63,420. These are escape mental patients or something. I mean, they're nuts. They are fucking nuts. Don't do it, people. <laughs> Just blow them off. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a good night.